Hello and welcome back once again to my channel. In this video, I am going to print inverted half pyramid using numbers. In the previous video, I had shown you with stars. Okay, so let's go to discussion. I assume that you know how patterns are printed by now. The number of rows and columns being same, the patterns are printed row wise where each row should be completed printing before shifting to the next row. Okay, now follow the pattern carefully. Let's take the number of rows or columns as n, which is 5 here. In the first row, numbers are printed from 1 to n, that is 1 to 5. In the second row, n minus 1 numbers, that is 1 to 4 are printed. In the third row, n minus 2 numbers, that is 1 to 3 are printed. Likewise, in the nth row, n minus n minus 1 numbers, that is 1 is printed. I hope you understood this. Now let's step into the algorithm. In the first step, we should take the value of n, that is number of rows or columns as input. After that in step 2, we run the outer loop from i equals to n to 1. Next in the step 3, we use nested for loop and run the inner for loop from j equals to 1 to i and print the value of j. It is because for every value of i, j is changing its value from 1 to i. For one line statements within a loop, you need not to use braces. So for first iteration of i, Inner loop will run from 1 to i, which is 1 to n, and will print numbers from 1 to n, here n equals to 5. In the next iteration of i, i will be n minus 1, that is 5 minus 1, which is 4 here, and the inner loop will print numbers from 1 to 4. Like this, when i is 1, 1 will be printed, and the control will come out from the nested loop and execute the next statements. I hope you understood the thing. Now in the step 4, close the braces of the inner loop if you have opened and write the statement for printing a new line. Then simply close another brace for the outer loop. In the step 5, exit the program. That's the algorithm. Now let's implement this in program. So as usual, just write down the initial code which is must. After that, take an input n by showing a message to enter the number of rows or columns. Now start the outer loop, write for i equals to n, i greater than equals to 1, i minus minus. So the loop will run from n to 1. Open a brace. Now write the inner for loop that is for j equals to 1, j less than equals to i, j plus plus. So this loop will run from 1 to i for each iteration of i. And write printf j and give a space for clear distinction of numbers when printed. No need to use braces here as only one statement printf j is to be executed within the loop. After that, write printf backslash n to print a new line. Now close the brace for the outer loop and finally close the main function. The program is complete. Now let's see the output. We can see that we have completed printing our pattern successfully. Hope you found this video helpful. I will keep bringing more videos on pattern printing. So like, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay tuned.